Hey, Roman. Want to go bowling? We bowl like two cousins in American sitcom. Pick me up in next hour. Cousin, I shall be there soon. My God! Good to see you. Let's do this. You good, man? Yes. Me too. I mean, it's non-stop craziness, but I'm happy. You know what? I'm glad you came here. It's good to be living in this madhouse with family. Sure. Before you got here, I was on the bottom. People spat on me. And now? Now they still spit on me, but at least I know I have you here. It's been tough, but... I've had a great time. Thank you, cousin. I'm glad I came here too. Not because of the place. It's interesting, but also strange. Too noisy. I'm glad because of you. You have a real friend in the world. That was all I think I ever wanted. And in you, I had that person. Thank you, cousin. You are the man I wanted to be, Roman. Happy, kind, and a good person. And you are the man I wanted to be. Strong. Unbending. With integrity. Life is very strange. Get ass, B. I'll slap the shit out you. I see you, motherfucker. Look out! Okay, cousin, let's hit the alleys. Ah, I see a bowler before me. Go ahead, choose a lane. I enjoyed that, Nico. We should do it again soon.
Rasta, it's me. Yo, you wanna go down at a strip club, Mr. Menchian? Why not? I'm bored as hell. I'll come over in the next hour. Respect, me see you soon. be a fucked up face, Nico. A face ram up with fuckery. Sure, Jacob, it is. What I have seen of it, at least. Since you got to live in this city, you mean anyone who wasn't crazy? No one I like. I might have robbed some sane people, but I did not stick around for conversation. Say, Nico, you, me, bad man, we're all crazy living the life we live. Cops chasing us, gangsters trying to rip us off. It ain't an easy life, that's for sure. Maybe it's this madness, this crazy shit that make the world go round. People say it be the rules and laws that make the world work. You know? But maybe it ain't that way. That's just Babylon keeping a rasta down. That's just Bucky Massa hitting our box, making the slave ship keep moving. That's just them dumb princes in grey suits, making us waste our life filling out farms and things. Doing that shit instead of real experience in the world, the spiritual side. That's that shit that's shutting down life. Crazy rastas like I and I. We don't listen to Babylon. It's us that keep the world moving and jamming. It's us, and we make the world idle. We give the world its life and its madness, you know. Sure. I think you could be on to something there. Good time in a star. It's Nico. Can you come bowling? Bowling? I'm down. I ain't got shit else to do. Okay, I'll come by and pick you up. Oh, 
Please don't be dead. Safe. Good to see you. Let's get out of here. Man, life is hard. Sure. I mean, I was never set an example. Prison, they had me doing all this therapy bullshit. Discuss your childhood, you know? That sounds fun. My childhood, I saw my dad beat my mom. I saw her try so hard. I remember once she got popped some golf clubs because his friend had some. Thought he could be refined and shit. He was a pimp who couldn't read. Fuck only knows what she was thinking. And you know what he did? He broke them over her back. Fucking animal. I was glad when he died. Life is tough. Damn straight. Think you got game? Let's bow, bitch. Relax there, buddy. Memory Lanes welcomes you. Our balls are big. Please choose a lane. See you soon, man. That was a lot of fun. You a good guy, Nico. It's Nico. How about I take you out? I'd really like to go on a date with you. Pick me up in the next hour. Great. I'll be by in the bin. Hi, Nico, you're here. Let's find something to do. I like the car, Nico. Please tell me you didn't waste your hard-earned money on a new top on my account. Those pants are good. The new shoes make you look like a pimp. Your eyes are beautiful. I'm so pleased you're not wearing those glasses.
nice, Nico, but anywhere'd be nice with you. That was really nice, Nico. I feel like I'm really getting to know you. I'm gonna warn you, Nico, I'm not in the best of moods. What's wrong? Tremaine's appeal just got rejected. Tremaine the client? Client ex, ex, client lover, friend, spiritual guru. The line is so blurry. I'm too close to be able to tell what he is. What were you appealing? A triple homicide conviction. Like Dorian's? Yeah, only Tremaine was completely innocent. There's no way he killed those guys. He's such a big softy. He's practically Buddhist. Yeah? He's a really spiritual person, Nico. He's got such soul. Being unfairly incarcerated would break most men, but he's a survivor. I'm trying to get him to write a book about it. It's an absolute farce, the miscarriages of justice that he's had to suffer. If he does write one, I'll read it. You two have so much in common. I mean, more than just me. You're both such peace-loving men. All your ex-boyfriends seem to be real pacifists. Unlucky, though. Hopefully that won't rub off on me. It's not bad luck, Nico. It's the system. It's totally fucked. Totally. Don't leave me out here in the cold, Kiki. <laughs> Invite me in. This is going to be amazing. I might cry with happiness. Okay. <laughs> oh, Nico. Darling, you can prosecute me anytime. Nico, I love you, Nico. She doesn't get too attached.
So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> then I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly, Robin fucking <laughs> Hood. Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or are we gonna have to kill you? Well, since you put it that way, I mean. Right, good. all right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. let's do this. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packman. Yeah, fuck you. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. A mafia-controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell none of those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegorinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary's story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I bet. I bet. Model community leader my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you, ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Nico, stick fucking close to me.
Let's go inside and find this money. Hey, Becky! Nico make a swim for her with the money. See you back at the house, Becky. Try to keep the money dry, won't ya? I don't know how my boots are gonna make country in a boat, didn't you, Nico? That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a try. That was fucking beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the enchiladas don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. I don't fucking worry about it. So this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake. But shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you, though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money, Dad. What a trooper. Top of the fucking world. Here's your share. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky. talking about, man? I'm saying, we 
Would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She don't get out much, and she sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. Call her, man. was doing that. I hear you need work. I want to throw your bone, Nicky. Come over to Drusilla's in Little Italy. We'll have a little 